So we've been having so much fun reading this story that um, my camera battery ran out, so now I have to switch to the camera I don't like to use. Let's continue. Chapter 8. Hammerjack and Jamritzi spend their time on fun on the first afternoon at Tailtown. Did I not know how to name chapters? Or make paragraphs. Goodness gracious, this is giant. Hammerjack decided that finding the group of people that could go with them on their mission could wait. He decided to get into action the next day and have fun today. He and Jamritzi spent their day on fun. They finished up the leftovers from the ship ride, then they had dinner with a little picnic on- they like picnics. Then they had a dinner with a little picnic on the ham first. I liked ham for some reason. The most popular lake in, well, that town. They had dinner at a pizza hut where they had ordered a pepperoni pizza with cheese and crust. Ooh, nice. They loved it even though it was incredibly bad for them. Then, just so that they could have something to look at, they went to Burger King for the toys. Of course, they had to order a kitty meal for themselves, or a kittle, kitty meal, or something like that, to get so, to get that toy. They had gotten double cheeseburgers for themselves. You can get double cheeseburgers in a kitty meal, and also a Naruto snow globe. This is like exactly like Earth for some reason. And then they went to an amusement park where they went on a rigged Ferris wheel, which dropped a mile a minute when you were coming down from the top. Which means basically it always drops a mile a minute. When you were at the bottom, somebody would turn it in a clockwise manner. It only took five minutes, only because they had chosen that time when they were choosing how long they wanted the ride to be and it was one Ninjarati food dollar a minute. Surprisingly, Tailtown had had the same money system currency as the Ninjarati food planet, even though those two planets were galaxies away from each other. They had went on the scariest roller coaster they had ever ridden in their lives. It was called The Shadow, because of every single detail on the roller coaster was black. Then they had had a Bible study and devotion that night. And that made them have good dreams. It was about having faith in Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Then when you died, you would go to heaven. Then they had had a good night's sleep, dreaming that every single person they'd met would have become Christians. So I'm guessing that the Bible study was about having faith in Jesus as your Savior and Lord, not the dreams being about that. Chapter 9. Hamperjack forms the group. What we've all been waiting for. The next day, Hamperjack got up to a message on his message recorder the next day. It had said, the people who would love to be with you and go on your mission who with you are who you are going to meet right <laughs> ah! The people who would love to be with you and go on your mission with you are who you are going to meet right now. <sighs> Suddenly there was a knock on the door. Knock 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 Come in Hammerjack sang out Oh Come in the door was almost slammed open. How can you do that? As thirty six people piled inside the hotel room. One of the people was his messenger, looking as eager as a person who was just told that they would win one million dollars the next day. But then I would be like, why can't I earn it today? There are 35 people who want to come with you on your journey, Hamberjack's messenger said. Whoa, Hamberjack insisted. I told you, whoa, Hamberjack insisted as he looked at the people tumbling over each other, craning their necks, trying to get a better look at the first most mighty and most famous sensei's first student in the arts of Nijirati Fu, which means he's the second and second most mighty sensei in the arts of Nijirati Fu. I'm sorry, sir, but I can only accept three more people in my party. They must know Nijirati Fu well enough to fight dragons and such. They must also accept the rules. At that, 20 people walked out. Hammerjack looked out the window, satisfied. He saw 20 people get into their cars and drive away without even waving goodbye. Now there were 15 people standing at his door looking confident like they were chosen to do this mission with Hammerjack. Hammerjack had listed the rules of his party. These rules were no swearing, cussing, cursing, using blasphemy, or anything like that. Uh, listen to the everyday and night devotions, pray honest prayers, uh, answer any questions I ask you about the devotions honestly and with your knowledge of the Bible. Be prepared for any strange thing that may happen. So basically, be a Christian, don't sin, and be prepared. At those rules, six more people went out the window. <laughs> I mean, out the door. <laughs> went, went outside, got in their cars, and drove off without a shout or wave goodbye. Again, Hamperjack looked out the door satisfied. He turned back at the nine people staring confidently at Hammerjack. He looked annoyed. 
you expect that only him and Jamritzies would go on the mission. Does anybody else want to join them? Asked Hammerjack as he forced a smile. I've taken desperate measures now, because my red camera, that one's run out of battery, so now I'm using my GoPro. This has never happened before, so let's finish this story before this one's battery goes down. Every person in the room, the messenger had left when the 20 people who had left at the beginning had left, they shook their heads. Uh, okay then. Let's test you on how well you can manage the rules and how well you know the arts of Ninja Rodigoo. Shall we? Hammerjack then thought of something. On paper, Jamron sees the hat that showed his mission. It had said that if he had not done his mission, he wouldn't do any missions at all for the rest of his life. Hammerjack gave them certain situations where they would probably break one of the rules for a test. Six of them didn't make a very good grade on the test. They were all boys. Rule one, he had given them a situation where they would have, probably have said a bad word. Three of them said several bad words in that situation, and the other three said only a few bad words. Uh, that was enough to count them all out, but Hammerjack wanted to see other talents of all. For rule two through four, he had read a devotion and done a Bible study. Six of them nearly dozed off during the devotion and would complain about praying every single time ever do a devotion in the simulation. Hammerjack had asked all of them questions about the devotion. And guess what? The same six gave Hammerjack and Jamrazee's the Sunday school answers. Oh no! What a lazy bunch of six people listening to nothing, Hammerjack thought, but confessed to God in his heart that he was sorry. He would always regret ever even thinking of it. If he had told that to those people, he thought, all nine of them would walk out with offended hearts. Right now, he didn't want why then, and not earlier? It was because of how well he was getting to know these people. For Rule 5, he had put a giant in, the sim in a simulation and made Jamerzees jump off his head. Only three of them had passed the test. Jamerzees fell to the ground six times, but enjoyed it surprisingly. Then finally, he had tested them on all of their neurotic food knowledge. Three of them did perfect. The other six people were flipping over, struggling to get to their feet, getting back up again, trying again, then tumbling. Only three people were chosen to do this mission. Two were girls and one was a boy. The girls' names were Audrey and Aubrey. The boy's name was Aaron. Six people walked to their cars, 